So, peeps, another day and another cheeky little breakdown for you. So, I've got a three phase water pump here that was connected to a combi, and every time the combi started up, it took an RCD out. So, I'm going to show you the two methods I'd use when testing a motor or any kind of three phase equipment. One being the resistance of the windings, and then obviously, your t second one being your insulation resistance, your IR. So, first, we're going to do our resistance check across the three phases making sure we've got a balanced load on the windings now i'm going to put this in the vice because i'm a married man there's only a couple of things i could do one-handed and i've got a big vice anyway so how this works is that multimeter is putting out one volt and then it checks what the voltage coming back and that calculates then what your resistance is when your ohms reading across them windings and what we're looking for is anything with a balanced amount across all three phases because obviously we do want a balanced load and that's why we don't need a neutral and free phase. But if you're going to do a resistance check down to earth, you're going to get an open circuit because you're only using one volt and that's not going to break down any kind of, or skip across anything. And that's why I love this meter, the Fluke 1587. And I've got the FC version because I'm a flash bugger like that because that's the Bluetooth. So you can see I've got a range of voltages here and that's a bit of controversy because everyone's like 250 or 500. Our rule of thumb is I'll kind of go for double or whatever it can handle unless it's got anything critical on there like a PCB board or any components like that. Then I'll go 250. So what we're looking for is anything really above 100 mega ohms is good. But as you can see, this is well below. So this would be not a down, straight down dead to earth, but this would be enough leakage for voltage to come out and take an RCD out. And as you can see, that's the same across all three windings. And I have taken the links out. And as you can see, that's what a dead short would look like. And then an open circuit would be five mega ohms, 500 mega ohms. Like a spirit dog here. And I do like this meter because you get all different accessories making it hands free. And what is brilliant about this if you're in the maintenance game is there's loads of different functions on this. You can even do temperature readings. And if anybody wants me to go through every function on this, I can do. Now, if you've been watching this, you're alleged approved. <laughs>